Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here. In today's YouTube video, I'm gonna take you through a perfect upper body workout, not just for women, for absolutely everyone and anyone can do this workout, but it's just gonna make you feel so strong and so empowered. So without further ado, let's get into it. Just using Women's Best BCAAs Aminos, uh, just to sweeten up my workout a little bit. I love these, already had my pre-workout. Link is in the description. Right, we're gonna do a quick little upper body warm up. I'm gonna grab a band and I'm gonna take you through this warm up. I do it all the time, super simple, super effective. I'm actually gonna break down this upper body workout similar to how I would do a lower body workout. So I haven't done this format with you before, but it is actually on my lower body strong program on the Evolve View. Apparently now on week three, and I've absolutely been loving it. So the way I normally structure it is the following, and I've found it works perfectly. We're gonna do our three big movements at the start, similar to a lower body day. So we're gonna do a push press, which is a military push press followed by a reverse grip row for your back. And then you can do a final movement, which is your chest. We're gonna do a chest press. You can either do it with a barbell or a dumbbell, depending on how comfortable you feel. So those are three compound movements that we're gonna start off with. They're gonna be done individually, not supersetted or triceps. A superset is where you do two exercises, one after the other with a little rest. And a tricep is effectively the same, but with three exercises instead of two. So what we're gonna do is keep them individually capped, four sets each, a rep range of eight to 10 reps. So let's go. With a push press, why is it different to a strict military press? With a military press, you're gonna keep your core super engaged and tight. You're gonna not bounce at all. All of the motion is gonna come from your upper body, just like so. With a push press, you're gonna use your legs to power oof, and bring the weight back up. Now also, with a push press, it's an explosive movement, it's a power movement, and you will be able to lift more because your legs are also contributing into it. A lot of people don't know the difference, and then when you're doing a push press, they think you're not doing a military press properly, but they're two different exercises. One is strictly isolation, and one is more of a power explosive movement that works on your fast twitch fiber muscles. So make sure you use those legs, keeping that core nice and tight, bringing that weight forward, pushing upwards. So that's a push press. The next movement we're gonna go into is one of my favorite back movements. It is gonna be an inverted bent over row. With bent over rows, a lot of people get a lot of confusion behind it. Let's simplify it. Number one, your knees should always have a slight bend to them. Number two, you don't wanna come completely down. You don't wanna come completely up. You, find, you wanna find a neutral position. It's similar to an RDL when you're moving your hips back. Now, your feet should be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Your knees are bent, so you take away any lower back pressure. If your knees are completely straight, you're gonna put a lot of pressure not only on your knees, but on your lower back as well. Grabbing the weight as we're doing a reverse grip, you wanna reverse hold it, not neutrally hold it, just like so. Bring the barbell up, get into your position, and when you're pulling the weight up, just like so, there's a few things I want you to factor in. Number one, pull with your elbows. Number two, keep your core tight at all times. Number three, keep your chin nice and tucked into your chest. And number four, the most important one, is when the weight is coming towards you, your chest is naturally gonna come up. So you're not just gonna row like that. What will happen is you'll create a rounded back and it will create a lot of pressure and it's also not the right movement. 
So you want to retract your shoulders back, just like so. And as the weight is coming up, you're going to pull. And that chest is naturally going to come up. Let's put all of those factors and points together and let me show you how to perform it. Where it should be hitting is around about your belly button area, not higher and not lower. The next exercise that we're going to be doing is an incline chest press. Genetics does play a very, very, very big factor on how your body proportion, your sizing, your ligaments are, and they develop over time. If you are doing a specific movement, it might work amazingly in developing a specific muscle for that person and differently for you. It's just facts. So please make sure that you are performing chest presses. It's important to train your whole body in harmony and balance. So we're gonna do an incline chest press. You're gonna bring the weight up with your knees. You're gonna plant your feet onto the floor. You're gonna retract your shoulders back. You're gonna bring the weight down oof, and back up. If it gets difficult, you can also push your hips up to help you with that sticky point. Let's go. The next exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into supersets. Now you've done your three big movements that have targeted your shoulders, your back, and also your chest. I'm now going to superset more of the specific muscle requirement movements, such as the vertical movement of a lap pull down wide grip to give you that nice big frame. We like a big back because it also gives the illusion of a tinier waist. We're gonna superset that movement with a reverse grip front cable raise. The reason I'm doing reverse grip is gonna target a little bit more of your chest area and also the front area of your delts. Your delts are compromised of three areas, your front, your mid, and your posterior here, which is your rear delts. It's important to target them equally as much as you can. But when you're doing things like a press, a military press, a push press, when you're doing a seated press, you are targeting all of them. But if you want to isolate them, you need to be doing isolation moves, such as a front raise, a side raise, and a rear delt as well which is really important. But that's for a shoulder or a entire chest and shoulder tricep workout. But because this is combining your chest, your shoulders and your back, we're gonna minimize how much isolations that you do and focus more on those movements that are gonna hit multi-muscles, not just one muscle. So with that being said, we're gonna hit some back and then chest and shoulders next. on lat pull down. Number one, make sure that your hands are balanced and equal on to the bar because if one hand is closer and one is wider, you're gonna cause imbalance. Number two, make sure that when you're sat, you're locked in. It's super important that you feel really locked in and tight because when you want to pull the weight, it's not gonna pull you up, you're gonna pull it down. Number three, making it super simple. You're gonna keep your thumbs out of the bar. It's so important because if your thumbs are gripped in, you're gonna work your forearms a lot, which is your secondary and third muscle group. Number four, you're gonna pull down with your elbows, bringing the bar as close to your chest as possible. And you're also gonna actually move with the movement. So you're not gonna just stay up and then bring in the bar down to you. Naturally, you're gonna come back a little bit and forward a little bit. Back a little bit and forward a little bit. You don't wanna just sit completely upright and bring the bar to you. You're gonna also work a lot of your traps, but by moving with it, you're actually gonna contract your lats a lot, lot more. So let's put that together.
When it comes to a front cable raise, I want you to actually bend your knees slightly and lean a little bit forward. By coming a little bit forward, you're also isolating that area, which I find really helps. So you're gonna bring it up and I actually want you to hold it for two seconds before coming back down. Hold, one, two, it's gonna burn like crazy guys, trust me. Hold, one, two, that's it, good job. Hold, one, two. The final superset I'm gonna make you do is a single arm row because it is important to do single arm movements as well as single leg movements when you are doing your workouts to make sure you have symmetry and balance. And then we're gonna superset that again with a lat raise. I always do lat raises. They're really hard to progress because it's such a tiny muscle, but I absolutely love it. Also, you're gonna work that core by keeping that stability and your movement really tight and secure. So we're gonna do a single arm row, bent over, followed by a lateral raise. And then if you want to finish this workout off, if it's not too long for you, you can finish it off with a strict bicep curl standing and an overhead tricep extension. And that will be your workout done. When you're performing a single arm row, it's the same principle of a row. Any row has the same simple principles. Pull with your elbow, put your chest upright, keep your back neutral, chin tucked into your chest. Keep it simple. I've always said there's so much content nowadays. There's so much to listen to. There's so many things being said there. Number one, make sure someone is actually qualified to give you this information. That's the number one thing. Number two, do your own research. You are responsible for your own self. I'm here to help you, I'm here to guide you, but you have to fundamentally do your own research too to make your own decision. Number three, simplify it. Anything in the world can be simplified. Anything in the world can be stripped back and it can be told to you in one sentence. So the same principles of a barbell row, same principles of a single arm row. The only difference is, is you're splitting your legs so you allow more of a range. What that can do is you could bounce a lot, which tends to happen in the last few reps. So try and keep your legs stationary and your core tight and all the rowing is coming from your upper body. Another thing that helps is instead of holding onto something, push against something. It just creates a more structured, solid unit. Whereas if you're holding something, you could still swing around. But if you're pushing against something, especially like a wall, you have much more control of the movement. With a lateral raise, everyone does them different. Again, to make it simple. Bend your knees slightly. Do not have them completely straight. Keep your chest upright. You want a slight little bend to your elbows. You don't want it completely straight. You can also bring them front all a little bit, but not too much, or you can have them just on the side. To isolate them a little bit more, you can lean slightly forward, and that will help as well. Try not to use your legs too much to swing you up and down. Try and keep it as isolated as you possibly can. So that is it guys, the perfect upper body workout that I know all of you can do. I hope the tips, the tricks, and everything I said helped you and simplified things. Everything should be made simple when it comes to fitness. Let me know in the comments below which part you love the most and leave a thumbs up if you wanna see more. Love you always and forever, bye guys.